Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready to get out of here. <coughs> that's right. So, let's put her in gear and let's get out of here. And we spent enough time in here today already. Or this last night, I guess. Could have left hours ago already, probably. But I was kind of lazy this morning, kind of sleeping in a little bit. So uh, yeah, it's not too bad, though. I mean, it's only quarter to eight right now, so uh, it's not like I slept till noon. <laughs> I just, you know. Sleeping in a little bit, and then we're getting out of here, so now we are. Now let's make our way home. We got about a thousand and fifteen miles to go till we will be home, so yeah, that's a good ways to roll yet. But I figured if I get out of here too early, then uh, I'll probably just have an issue with traffic up there in uh, Chicago and I don't really want that, right? So I may as well just relax a little bit and then uh, get into Chicago a little bit more around noonish, right? That's usually a better, better time to get into Chicago anyways. That way we don't have to worry about traffic so much. Generally around lunchtime it's pretty quiet. Normal traffic, not backed up traffic type of deal, you know. So yeah, so that's our plan. You gotta have a plan, you know. When you're a truck driver, you gotta plan your routes. And that's another tip. You gotta plan your routes ahead of time. Look them up when you're at the truck stop where you want to go, all of that good stuff. Kind of have a, a rough idea on how far you planning on making, especially if you got like a tight load, then you definitely want to plan your uh, route out and uh, look it up to see how far it is from one place to another and see if you can make it. And, uh, you know, plan it right, you know, try and leave early in the morning. That's usually my idea of doing it. Try and leave earlier in the morning so that way you're done earlier in the afternoon. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the left on a 65 North US 52 West. And then you have a better chance of getting a parking spot, you know. Because a lot of drivers, they don't, they sleep till 8, 9 o'clock and then they get up and go. Well, you know, and they stop at 9, 10 o'clock at night. Well, then it's kind of difficult to try and find parking if you do that, right? So I like to get up at 5 in the morning generally and get out of there by 5, 30, 6 o'clock. So that way I know probably by 6 o'clock in the afternoon I'll be done and generally then it's not an issue getting parking like we did here yesterday, right? Well, we got up really early, bright and early. I think by 6 o'clock we were out of there. Truck stop last uh, yesterday morning. And so by about 6 o'clock last night we pulled in over here and there was still plenty of parking in there, you know? So uh, we had a, could pretty much choose, well, you know, almost choose where you want it to park so that just goes to show you you know when you plan it right and you know roughly which area you're going into you usually can't get a good idea after a couple of years of driving anyways on which truck stops fill up faster than others you know and i know this flying j here fills up pretty quickly in the evening so uh I knew I had to get down here early if I wanted to get me a parking spot. Although there is another truck stop right here at this exit here. So, you know, I could have gone down there, but that's not a very big truck stop either. And that one is just, you know, one block down the road from where I pick up, right? So, anyway, 
guys enough chattering about that so uh let's make our way towards home here we are coming into chicago ladies and gentlemen yeah i think i timed it just right instead of leaving earlier this morning i left a little later and here we go if i would have left earlier i would have probably been in some terrible rush hour traffic and now i think we got lucky it's going pretty smoothly and this guy is definitely speeding i don't recommend that only 55 mile an hour speed limit and i'm already doing 58. look at how fast he's passing me he's got to do at least 65. but anyways if he gets caught it's his problem right but yeah, here we are in Chicago. Well, we're still on the in the Indiana side of Chicago, I guess, but we'll be in the Illinois side here pretty soon. I think it's only eight more miles and we'll be in Illinois. Guys, we are getting closer to South Beloit, Illinois. Let's ride. Only 1.3 quarter of a mile. Then we'll be there. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, we're just coming up to the exit here to go to the Flying J and then we'll take care of some business. We'll fuel up, get a shower, get a bite to eat and all of that good stuff. So let's go in there and let's take care of some business, guys. All right, guys, we just finished fueling up over here at the uh, Flying J. Went and took us a good shower. Now we're gonna go get us a good bite to eat. I'm hungry. So let's go inside and grab us a good bite to eat. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea or what? Making you guys hungry? Alrighty guys, I told you we were gonna have us a good bite to eat. So let's take a look. We got steak and eggs. Yeah, I love it. Alright guys, it is time to get out of here. I think we spent enough time in here today. I believe so. So let's go ahead and get out of, out of South Beloit. That's right. Oh, that's uh, Jim Miller. That could be Ellie Knight. You never know. I didn't see her in there, but that's that same company that she works for. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we got a bunch of stool bosses up here trying to get out of, out of this truck stuff too. Well, we had us a good bite to eat, as you guys saw. We had a good steak. Now we cleaned our windows and all that good stuff. Now it's time to get out of this area. We'll be in Wisconsin here as soon as we get uh, back on the interstate. So yeah. There we go. Looks like we might be getting some rain here in a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see if somebody's coming from over there because of the bushes up there. But yeah, nobody coming, so we're good to go. Yeah, we downloaded iOS 10 today. I mean, by the time you watch this, it's, it's already ahead. Construction ahead. seven days ago. It's but hey, feet. turn left on Garner We did Street, download US it today. Yeah, Wi-Fi up here, and I have a subscription for that. So I went ahead and downloaded that. And me a shower, bite to eat, fueled up. All that good stuff so we are ready to roll now I think I'm making pretty good time for today yeah we're getting closer to Minneapolis that's right I think I'm going to be stopping here in a little bit though and I'm gonna be calling it quits for today that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm not sure if that's exactly what we're gonna do but I'm kind of thinking that's what we're going to do because it's already about quarter after six so uh, I think we'll go ahead and stop here at exit 28 and then uh, we'll continue on 
on tomorrow with our journey we only have 528 miles to go as of right now so we got a few more miles to go and then we'll probably be done for today so yeah I mean we done about 500 miles already today so it's about halfway on what we need to do so uh, we should be home tomorrow afternoon sometime if everything will go according to plan anyways right Yep, yep. It's been kind of cloudy all day long, pretty much this afternoon, anyways, and uh, hasn't really rained though. It's just been a little bit on the cooler side. It's been around like. Bring it over, buddy. Been uh, like 20 degrees now, it's down to 18 Barrel degrees, and all that stuff. So. Uh, so yeah, it's starting to cool off. Overnight, we're already having to use the bunk heater in order to not freeze overnight so but the bunk heater works good so far this year one recommendation for you guys that have bunk heaters is to uh, maybe get either get it serviced or do it yourself clean it up before it's winter I don't think I'm going to do mine this year because I took mine apart there I believe uh, in spring so I kind of worked on mine a little bit in spring so I don't think I'm going to do mine this year, but a lot of you guys that didn't do it this summer probably be a good idea right about now. Getting it serviced or take it apart, do it yourself, clean her out, get ready for winter. Because it's just around the corner, guys. It's just around the corner. Before you know it, it's going to be snowing up here. Yeah, I can just tell. It's kind of cooling down pretty quickly already. Almost every day it's starting to get colder and colder. So yeah, winter is approaching fast. Which, I don't really care. I mean, yeah, it's nice in summer, but I don't really mind the winter either. So, either way, when it's not uh, summer, we have less construction. <laughs> And less four-wheelers on the road too, generally. Because we got less campers and people that go camping and hunting and all that stuff, so... So yeah, we'll have less traffic. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here till, our, till we decide to stop. Alright guys, we are done for today. Yeah, we're just sitting here in the back editing our video up and all that good stuff well that's my light so that way you can see me a little bit better but yeah anyways uh we did decide to go ahead and go a little further and then we actually wanted to and so we decided to go up to uh, clear water again instead of staying there in uh wilson wisconsin yeah just before i got there i got a phone call and i said yeah then, you know i really wanted to talk to that person so i said yeah let's just go through Minneapolis, and that way we didn't have to deal with traffic this morning right so here we are and uh yeah let's get this day over with and then we'll get out of here early tomorrow morning and then uh yeah so that way we uh get home early bright and early spend a little bit of time with the family and go out again I guess that's how it works in this trucking industry doesn't it but appreciate all of you guys watching we'll see you tomorrow right here on the trucker Rudy show <laughs>